Phoenix Wright. Literally, who are you? I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe you mean. How do you do? For I am Gaspin Payne. Ten out of ten name. No notes. They fucking nailed it with this one. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. It's incredible. Uh. I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne. Literally. Edgeworth doesn't have a younger brother. <laughs> oh, I'd know about that. What? Long-standing rival? <laughs> when, were we, when were we ever rivals? Let alone long-standing. You'll see, Mr. Wright. I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met with at your hands. <sighs> Looks like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. <laughs> Your Honor! The prosecution would like, would now like to call a decisive witness to the stand. This witness will testify as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. So is this going to be our detective or is this going to be the culprit? <laughs> Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. Fridge, I think you're right with one of those. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the guy who did it. Okay. <laughs> now, why would you guess that, Fridge? Why? Just <laughs> call the hunch. Mm, okay, okay. Not really. Witness your name and occupation, please. <laughs> Witness? Oh shit! Actually, uh, Wes, you might want to be ready to reuse that uh, that 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 voice modulator you have right now. Oh, does he do stuff with that? Yep. Oh wow! I forgot about that. I did not okay. remember until this moment. So yeah, I totally I, forgot about uh, that. Okay. If you want to take a quick second and and pick some things. Yeah. 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 Head. Everybody Tone yeah, the name is yeah, incredible. Yeah, it is. We it's talk a good about one. That. It's, it's a good one. It's definitely like it's really obvious, but I there's nothing right. wrong you, with a really you literally obvious just name. Switch the T of the D in Tad, and you get Detonate. Detonate. Yeah, here we go. Name Ted Tony. Holy shit! Occupation bomb disposal. Oh my! What a strange robotic voice you have! <laughs> True. The better to exterminate you with. <laughs> Speech synthesis via typing. It is the same as me talking. He sounds exactly like a robot. Can't you speak in a normal manner? I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm -hmm. really good. He can! <laughs> but I'm not like to speak. Speaking is inefficient. Bro, shut the fuck up. No. Not really, no. Hmm. What an odd witness. Yes. Mr. Tonate was in charge of the bomb for the trial and was there when it went off. Being a bomb squad specialist, do you have any relation to the victim? I hated her and wanted to kill her. <laughs> I know only a fraction of them. However, I was shocked when I first discovered the body of the victim. 
It's the thing where, like, genuinely, Pridge, if this person started speaking in a court of law, would you not instantly be like, oh, so you're the killer? <laughs> Nobody would do this. No, no innocent human would do this. I mean, let's be honest, no one would believe Juniper built a bomb. <laughs> That's also a good point. And, and the minute the bomb disposal guy with the robot voice who said he was the first one who discovered the victim of a body, you'd be like, oh yeah, so he killed her, so he killed her, right? Yeah, yeah. However, I was shocked when I first discovered the body of the victim. I think that's good. Shocked? I was the first one on the scene after the explosion. I went there to ensure safety, but I ended up discovering a dead body. <sighs> so he was the first to discover the body, was he? He is here to testify about the circumstances surrounding the moment of the explosion. Very well. The court will hear Mr. Tonate's testimony. Mr. Tonate's. But at the very least, show this court some respect and remove that face guard witness. Oh, it's going to get worse, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> like... Bro, you look like a Homestuck character. You look like the Unabomber on crack. Like, come on. You are a killer. There is no doubt. The bomb was originally designed by me, then transported here as evidence. Bomb name HH3000. Good choice on the reading in the whole number. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. I saw that the bomb timer was counting down. <laughs> so, even though the bomb was supposed to be disarmed, it somehow got switched on. That's the most that's the most meme worthy face I've seen it's in a while. It's so good. I'm so glad you like it, Bridge. This it's face just, is incredible. It's such a it's such a fucking shitty meme face. It's so, so funny. It's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> they were cooking with this one. I guess this makes you the blue monkey in the bear in this barrel of fun, boss. <laughs> Good joke. <clears throat> I'd now like to begin my cross-examination. Huh? Uh... Mr. Tonate? What is that? It took so much for him to type that out. The bomb's already blown up. <laughs> uh, the bomb? <laughs> Great googly moogly! Ah! Mr. Tonate, I, I demand that you disarm it this instant! That's so good. Disassembly complete. This motherfucker have time to type that? <laughs> Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm not exactly a spring chicken, you know. This is an exact replica of the HH3000. <laughs> I'm really
realizing he's gonna say HH300 a whole lot, isn't he? <laughs> of the bomb that exploded, is it? Oh, that's what it looked like. I submitted a photograph of the real bomb taken just before the trial. Dimension 10 inch height by 10 inch width by 10 inch depth. Wait. You could have said it was a perfect 10 inch cube, but sure, go on, King. <laughs> Your bomb does appear to be a very good copy indeed. That's enough. There's no need to replicate anything here. Okay. And now, if the defense would begin their cross-examination... Uh -huh. Where is Miss Sykes gone to? <laughs> uh, Athena, you can come out now. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's get to work. I guess you were pretty scared, huh? Little baby uh, pissed what? her pants? What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck. She was about to bolt! <laughs> hey, put a sock in it, Widget. <sighs> as transparent as ever. Now, let's see, where were we? We were at the cross-examination. Oh, cross-examination, of course. She seems disoriented. I wonder if she's all right. Maybe I should ask Athena if she remembers how to cross-examine to help her focus. Yeah, she'll be fine. This is, no, yeah. I'll be fine. This is like, we've played seven of these games now, so, you know. No need for that right now. She'll be fine. I'll do everything I can to help. If you can't find any contradictions, and you flub up too often, don't be afraid to ask me for help. Athena, you're literally the... You've never done this before. Press R <laughs> with the option to consult with me appears. I'll let you know where I think the suspicious statement is. Uh, genuinely, shout out to them for adding that. That's a, that's a good feature. Sounds good. I'll be counting on you if I get in a bind. All right. It's cross-examination time. I do feel like it's weird for the first case they didn't switch the roles there. I agree with you. I mean, it's the thing where, like, he can Because eventually... Her. Athena's gonna do something that Phoenix can't do. That's true, but but I I understand what you mean. Oh, it doesn't make sense for Athena. To be like, if you're struggling too much, ask me, the rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it should be it should be like Phoenix. Like, Athena, you can handle this one, but if you get in trouble, ask me. Mm -hmm. That makes more narrative sense. All right, when the bomb went off. Oh, right, we already did this. Uh, bomb was originally disarmed by me and then transported as evidence. Bomb name, a long name, operate with timer remote. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. I saw that the bomb's timer was counting down. Uh, okay, I know what it is. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, everyone's, saying, everyone's saying press this one because everyone's saying press this last statement because it's funny. Okay. Uh, Q. Hold it. You saw it down. Count. You saw it counting down clearly with your own eyes. I hardly think a timer as small as the one on this bomb could be seen from the gallery. Look at his fucking He's face, Phoenix. Donald, tell me the very small thing. Wait a second. Where, where's goggles? <laughs> Knows about bombs. <laughs> <gasps> Do you happen to know a bear? Several people were were saying we should have had goggles guest to voice Ted Tony, and that would actually would have been really funny. incredible. Really funny. Hey, go watch Metal Bear Solid. Metal Bear Solid. Thank you. And also watch Saving Throw. Thank you, Chris. I can even see what you had for breakfast by looking at your tie. Why do I suddenly feel like a bug under a magnifying glass? Hmm. I guess it's possible you saw a timer if he was wearing those goggles. I'm not so sure. There's something that just doesn't sit right with me. Hmm? I don't think I follow. Bomb was completely hidden inside the stuffed animal. So well, so well concealed, in fact, that it didn't even look like a bomb at all. So you're trying to find testimony that conflicts with the evidence, yeah, right? That's the video game telling us how to play the game. Yes, that's right. Listening carefully to Mr. Tonate's testimony is just the first step. After that, it's a matter of taking a look at any evidence that seems relevant. Remember that you're open the court record when you go to present something. E. Yeah, whatever. Well, e. I'm, 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 e. Okay, okay. Yeah. Can't fast forward. That sucks. Please. Please. Video game. Okay, bomb. This one. I saw the bomb's timer was counting down. You couldn't have done that if it was hidden inside a stuffed animal. Objection! So you say you saw the bomb's countdown. Is that right? Of course. I clearly saw it counting down to zero. And I say... And I say... That you are clearly lying! What are you talking about? There is no way you could have seen the bomb's timer. After all, the bomb was concealed inside a stuffed- INSIDE a stuffed animal! Mr. Tonate! How can you claim to know the bomb was about to go off? When you couldn't even see the timer! <laughs> Wait, shit, sorry. Oh, that's so funny! But that is What? No! That does seem like a glaring inconsistency indeed. Witness, how do you explain this? Well, I... I... Oh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You found a contradiction right off the bat. Always remember, Athena, when you find an inconsistency in a witness's testimony, there's always a reason behind it. It could be a lie, a hidden meaning, a secret. It could be a lie, a hidden meaning, a secret. Whatever it is, it's Roast up beef, to some us chicken, a to pizza. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Whatever it is, it's up to us to dig it out. And pointing out every contradiction we find is the best way to do it. Right, boss? Now the question is, what can we dig out of Mr. Tonate?
because of the sound. Sound? What sound? Motherfucker, just talk to me. Like, just fucking talk. This is terrible. A beeping noise, you say? I suppose it would be possible to notice that even with the bomb inside the stuffed animal. I simply made a mistake. My bad. Objection! How in the world did you hear such a tiny little sound all the way from the gallery? think training would help you hear something so soft from f so far away. What now? Are you making light of the fine science of disarming bombs? I love the idea that he's like sitting here being like, do you think this is a joke? Like holding an actively like armed bomb being like, if you don't take that back, I will let this whole <laughs> courtroom blow up right now. And no one can stop him because he's an asshole. <laughs> it is a solemn mission that I put my life on the line to perform. What kind of specialist would I be if I could not hear a bomb? Not like disassembling a toaster, you know. First off, incredible. Secondly, I, I, I do want to quickly shout out this. Like, even though this game is the first one in 3D, the fact that it does such anime bullshit with him assembling and disassembling the bomb <laughs> is incredible. They did such a good job with this animation. 10 yeah. out of 10, no notes. Is His hands are a little fucked up, though. Yes! Well, yes, if you look at are. them, yes, yes. <laughs> for an extent, if you look at his hands for an extended period of time, you're like, ah. yeah. Now he's just showing off. You keep asserting that the sound was too tiny to hear, but the only tiny thing here, I swear to God, is my penis. <laughs> What is your skill as a lawyer? Rose, <laughs> being mistrustful is not an attractive quality, you know. And you're just overflowing with attractive qualities, aren't you? Uh-oh. Phoenix X Pain chip? <laughs> no, no, stop. Panix? Panix. Panix! <laughs> That sounds like a fucking YouTube poop. My where they... Yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Dr. Robotnik. Yes, it is. Snooping as usual, I see. <laughs> well, that's... I'm in hell now. Thank you, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Or perhaps you have some proof that Mr. Tonate did not hear the sound. Well, no, but it still seems totally suspect. But it's going to be really hard to prove that he didn't hear something. If I have this correct, the prosecution's argument is that someone reactivated the bomb before it was brought into the courtroom. But I don't understand, Mr. Payne. 
why you believe that person to be Ms. Woods. Very good question. That's simple, Your Honor. Mr. Tonate happened to be there when it happened. No. Oh. He was there when the defendant rearmed the bomb mm. and didn't do anything to stop her from doing that. <laughs> he just watched it. For some reason. He thought, oh, that's cool. I and love went about his day. <laughs> Watch this now. Oh, sorry. I would love to hear you talk about just this whole experience. Obviously, you kind of joked earlier of like, they're not going to bring a possibly live bomb into a courthouse. Yeah, I guess what's... I would love to say what I... I, I would love to say what would have happened instead, but I don't get what was going on in this first trial. Did they, right, like, right, did they right. catch a bomb maker before their bomb went off? I see, I see, I see. It's one of those, like, I mean, like, either way, yes, obviously the answer is they're never going to bring a dangerous object like that <laughs> in, in the court. There's there's plenty of other ways to do this. Mm. There's schematics of the bomb. There's pictures. There's experts. You could still have someone like Ted right. come in as an expert witness on bomb disarming and talk about it. Obviously, you're never going to bring a dangerous object in the court. There's <laughs> plenty of ways to analyze it and discuss it <laughs> without bringing the object in. Makes good sense. Looking for a chance to get at the bomb, Miss Woods was already there in that lobby. Her goal was surely to rearm the bomb and steal the remote switch. The remote switch? just before the blast and is still missing. I am partially to blame. Okay, at least he admits this, like... Well, and that's an admission of guilt if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Guilty! I left the bomb and remote on top. then use the remote from inside the courtroom to start the timer. Objection! How can you assert so unequivocally that the bomb was rearmed in the lobby? Objection! The bomb was safely secured in the transport case. The only time it was outside of the case was in that lobby. Therefore, that was the one and only opportunity anyone had to meddle with it. Why would they put it in the lobby? Okay. Someone other than Mr. Tonate could have opened the case and taken the bomb out. Fuck you, man. Do you see this number here? It says Leon. It does spell Leon? It. Yes. <laughs> Fucking Leon. We will never get away from this joke, chat. Why would you ever think that? No, what are you talking about? It says Lou 
loser. It kind of does, which is wild. <laughs> a little bit does, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mr. Payne's assertion is nothing more than conjecture. You have no proof that it, that it was Miss Woods who sold the remote switch. And by the same token, you have no proof that it wasn't her. Fuck off. Alright, so, so I win then. I hate these arguments. But what I do have is a piece of evidence that proves the defendant handled the bomb. No, oh, because of the... <laughs> Uh, the tail! Love that you're a tutorial villain because you're gonna eat shit so hard. Wes, can you say you mad, bro, with the voice distorter? <laughs> you mad, bro. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <Ugh>. Plus ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a rotten hand. As long as they have her fingerprints as their trump card. I'm at a big disadvantage. If only I had Trucy in the wings shouting out which hands they had. Daddy! Pocket fives! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Hat! <laughs> it appears we will have to hear from the defendant herself once more. I wholeheartedly agree, Your Honor. I would like to recall Miss Woods to the stand. Jellyfish. Mm -hmm. I trust... <coughs> I trust you have no objections, Mr. Wright? Oh, thank you, Your Honor. I'm worried about her condition, but we do need her testimony. On the other hand... Not sure I want to make Athena mad. I, I can read your feelings, and I, I can read your feelings, you know, boss. Uh, guess there's no hiding from her, huh? Don't worry. I know we need her testimony, but if anybody picks on her again, they'll pay. She's already at anger level one. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll stop the proceedings before I let anything bad happen to her. I'm ready to kill! <laughs> Whoa, Widget! <laughs> that voice is really good. Like, I know it's not been used very much. It's very good to me. It does my heart good. So thank you for that, Wes. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. In that case, I will take my leave. But before I do, there is just one more thing. Mr. Wright, is it? Me? Yes? It's not speaking. The case is yours. Do you think you can handle it? Dude, I'm about to put you in jail, so shut the fuck up. I look forward to seeing you try. Like, what fucking jabroni is like, <laughs> good luck getting me, fucko, as they're about to leave the courtroom for the first time. This bro is... Uh, it's whatever. Uh, this guy is hiding something. I just know it. Now, if you will excuse me, I have another courtroom to blow up. 
Wait, what? What was that? <laughs> this guy would be a Ted Gribble. Wait, is it Ted Gribble? What is... What is Mr. Gribble's name in fucking... I don't remember. Wait. Well, oh, Dale? Dale? Dale. It is Dale. It's Dale not Ted. Dale Gribble. Whew. Still. Well, I mean, his that guy's name is Ted. Yeah, yeah, no. For a second, I thought they had the same name. Bailiff, please go out to the lobby and bring back the defendant. Damn. Rip Junie. Junie! Sorry, completely forgot. You're good. Hi, Tina. She looks even worse off than before. Don't worry, Junie. We're here for you. I'm gay! <laughs> Do my best too. You blew up the courtroom because you bear resentment against the courts, correct? <sighs> no, of course not. Uh, I. What's that you say? I can barely hear you. I. I. I haven't done anything wrong. Prosecutor's scary. Objection! What an impudent little girl. Stop acting innocent and tell the truth! Objection! This is getting ugly. You rearmed the bomb because you wanted to blow up the courthouse! Admit it! That's why you went to the lobby where Mr. Justice was. Isn't that right? Mr. Wright, can I go give that prosecutor a smack? What? Of course not. Do we have to review courtroom manners 101 again? Man, I wish I brought my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Prince or Wes just figured out the new gimmick of this entire playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let a creep that bullies innocent girls like this off so easily. I haven't forgotten about how he treated you. Don't worry about me, just help Junie. Her heart's crying out. She's so scared. So very scared. Looks like Athena's picking something up with her heightened sense of hearing. And it sounds like this time it's the voice of Miss Wood's heart. Don't deny it! You stole the remote switch and used it in the courtroom, didn't you? Objection! Your Honor, please put a stop to this. Mr. Payne is badgering the defendant. Yes, Miss Woods does seem quite frightened. Mr. Payne, I ask that you behave more like a gentleman. Damn. Ah, but don't you know, Your Honor? There is no more a gentleman in this world than I. What? Objection! Untrue. Factually wrong. Ugh. As if a gentleman or even a gentle man would behave like he does. Don't let that rude ruffian win. Tina! <laughs> Yeah, you call a gentleman such as I a rude ruffian. Ah, you know, I attend a manners class every Saturday. How many Discord kittens do you have, Payne? <laughs> I'm more than just a gentleman. 
I'm a genteel man. The only classes this dude takes is Hustlers University with Andrew Tate. <laughs> not when you're terrorizing a, lo a young lady, you're not. I'd demand my money back from that manners class if I were you. I should probably That's be the broken. adult here and stop the two of them, but this is pretty fucking funny. Mr. Payne, that will be enough. Certainly, Your Honor. No further questions. Let's move on to the defendant's testimony. Ms. Woods, please share with the court what you were doing when the bomb went off. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, that day, I was watching from the gallery. <laughs> the bomb went off, <coughs> and rubble started falling. It fell on top of <coughs> Okay. Jimmy's clearly in pain, being forced to recall the bombing like this. She can't even get her words out. This isn't going to work, so what now? Hey, wait a minute. Even if she can't vocalize what she wants to say, we can listen Boy. to what's inside her heart. Yes, now's the perfect time to use Athena's power. You can hear it, can't you, Athena? The cries of Miss Wood's heart? Yes. And they sound incredibly strained. She's so scared. I think she could collapse at any second. Athena has a unique ability, you see. With her finely tuned sense of hearing, she can hear the words of the witness's heart. In essence, she can sense how a person is really feeling from the tone of, her vo of, the, of their voice. Guess it's all up to Athena and her special ability now. Athena, I want you to use the analytical analytical psychology you studied and listen to the testimony of Miss Woods' heart. Okay, boss. I'll give it a go. Good thing he doesn't know I didn't pass that class. <laughs> what, what Bridget? Fuck up, Bridget? <laughs> <laughs> After all. This is the whole reason I put all that effort into studying analytical psychology. <laughs> Good luck, Bridget. All gets. Let's do this. Well, I feel like this is probably a good stopping point, actually, for tonight. I, I kind of just want to see Pridge's initial impressions of this new mechanic. I don't okay. think it's too long. The first one's pretty straightforward, but... We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So your holographic thingamabob can show us how Miss Woods is feeling, right? In a nutshell, yes. The emotions and images that I picked up on just now while listening to her testimony. I can enter all of that into Widget and use the Moon Matrix to analyze them. These moon markers here reflect fluctuations in Junie's emotions. When she feels happy or is enjoying the memory, the happy marker will light up. When she feels angry or frustrated, the anger marker will react. When she feels sadness or is frightened by a memory, the sad marker will blink. And when she feels surprised or confused, the surprise marker will let us know. Yes. Those four. are the only four human those are the only four human emotions. Thank you, Bridge. I was about to make that joke. I'm glad you did it for me. <laughs> Luckily, the entire human experience can be boiled down to four emotions. <laughs> we can track how Miss Woods is feeling as she testifies. 
Talk about the wonders of technology. Yep. Now let's give it a shot. <laughs> I'm picking up on some kind of discord or noise in Junie's heart. Pain across the across the aisles is Discord kittens. <laughs> See here, this is what the noise looks like in the mood matrix. It's the result of inconsistencies between her testimony and her feelings. If we can pinpoint these inconsistencies, the noise level should drop. Okay, this is the time. It's the time to listen to Miss Wood's te true testimony. Okay, well, that day, a cough. I was watching from the gallery. Cough, cough. The bomb went off, cough, showing a surprised marker. Okay, she was surprised. And rubble started falling, still surprised. It fell on top of me, and I'm happy? Love when stuff falls on top of me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Widget. I think I have a good grasp on Junie's emotional state now. The power of Athena's. This power of Athena's is incredible. And I'm seeing an unexpected emotion that's inconsistent with the content of her testimony. What? Already? Oh, okay, the game's just gonna give it to us. Look at this. When she says it fell on top of me, the happy marker is reacting. Well, look at that. That is odd. There must be a reason for this contradictory emotion. We just need to do some digging. When you find an unexpected emotion, you'll first need to pinpoint Q <laughs> it, and then select the unexpected emotion or reaction from the four mu mood markers with space. <laughs> Hate it. Bajit is registering joy when Miss Woods recalls the rubble falling on her. There must be a reason for this unexpected emotion. Miss Woods! As the rubble was falling, there was also something that made you feel happy. What? <laughs> Mr. Wright. The feeling of happiness is spreading throughout Junie's heart. Keep going on this point, and I bet Junie will start to calm down. Great. Let's hear what she has to say. Um, just as I was about to escape the courtroom, the bomb went off. I was so startled. I tripped. And then the rubble started falling on top of I really thought I was done for. But mm. just then. Incredible, incredible. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bridge hates it instantly. Uh, uh, and I'm saying, oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you were like, oh, Apollo. No, no. you don't. Aww. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Widget, what? <laughs> She's knitting a heart scarf. It's cute. <laughs> uh, Apollo? He used his own body to shield me from the rubble. So that's when he. So that's when he sustained those injuries. <laughs> How do you feel, Junie? Did talking about Apollo give you some courage? Yes, Apollo is just like the sun, strong and bright and warm. Machi shows up and says, What, what am fuck? I, chopped liver? <laughs> I, he is like the sun, but I am the, the sun. Am the sun. 
The power of the sun is the palm of my hand. The palm of my hand. <laughs> Just talking about him makes me feel like a leaf under going... Photosynthesis. <laughs> photosynthesis. Oh yeah, photosynthesis. That's how I fed Trucy when she was growing up. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's very strong now. That's why you haven't seen her on screen yet. Yeah, girl, you're my photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> and see, your coughing stopped all of a sudden. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Fina. Looks like we were able to draw out some new testimony. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? But there's still some noise left. Meaning there must still be some discord in Junie's heart. Hmm. I guess we'll have to keep going then. Let me input this new information and update the mood matrix, and we'll be good to go. You remember what to do, right? When I find an unexpected emotion, I should first pinpoint it. Cue it. That's right. And then you select it from the mood markers with space. With what? If we can find the reason for the discord in her heart... <laughs> then we should be able to draw even more new testimony out. Uh, I tried to run, but I was too slow. Before I could get away, the bomb went off. Surprised, sure. I was so startled I tripped. Then rubble started falling on me. Still surprised. Thought I was done for. Apollo came and rescued me. Well, there is a little bit of sad now. I can sense some discord in Junie's heart when I listen to her voice. So I assume it's just going to be Apollo became a mummy from this, but sure. There must be an unexpected emotion here somewhere. When you find an unexpected emotion, you'll first need to pit. We, 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 yeah, we did yeah. this. Yeah, why Space. are they tying us this again? Okay. It's the final one. Sad. You have to press Q first. Oh, motherfuckers. Video game is telling me that. It's not the video game's fault. It's my fault. Got it. You were happy when Mr. Justice rescued you, weren't you? Yes. I was really happy. But there was also something that you felt sad about at the same time. Sad? The reason I ask is, when you were describing how you were rescued, we sensed a little sadness, too. Oh! I think it's probably because of Bum Rap Riney. You know, Bum Rap Riney? Bum rap, Briny. Well, what do you know? Something new. That's right. I... I brought my stuffed animal, Bum Rap Riny, to watch the trial with me. First off, incredible name for this rhinoceros. How many times are they going to say Bum Rap Riny? Not enough? Bum Rap Riny and Phony Fanti are brothers. Who knew that the legal world could inspire a whole line of merchandise? That all too well, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> We're talking into the video game series, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> uh, Preach, I don't know what you're talking about. There's not a lot of Phoenix Wright merchandise. Uh, just go to yeah, it's not even a lot of Phoenix Wright so fans. Team. That's where you can find uh, the I'm Dying Over Here merch shirt, uh, as well as the Bible Sport of the shirt. It's pretty good. Just throwing that out there. I had bum rap, bum rap Riney with me while I was watching the trial. But it wasn't until I fell asleep I, I lost him as I was running away. My poor Riney, a victim of that terrible bomb! Oh, I know! You can see what he looks like in this poster! Hell yeah! <laughs> I love how that's just Phoenix. It's just Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> He's so shit. To eradicate fake evidence and false charges. 
Pony Fanty and Bum Rap Riney, huh? Nothing against the campaign, but why an elephant and a rhinoceros? It should be Mr. a hedgehog. Ra what? I don't sense any discord in Junie's heart anymore. So I guess that means we managed to draw out all of her testimony. That's right. I'll just make an update with this new info and we'll have the whole picture. So, do you think her new testimony will help? No. Absolutely. I don't know what I would have done without you, Athena. Yeah. So Bum Rap Riney was in the courtroom when the bomb went off. Now that we know that, it changes the meaning of that other piece of evidence. All I have to do is present it at the right statement. Oh, uh, okay. Her fingerprints are on bum wrap Riney's tail, not... Boom! Uh, Bridge got it okay. instantly because he's a brilliant lawyer, folks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, bum wrap Riney, before I get out of the courtroom, we went off, started trips, blah, blah, blah. Apollo died for me, it's okay. He's not in this trilogy anymore. <laughs> That's right, he'll come back <laughs> in three days. <laughs> That's Junie's complete test- Oh, sorry, Bible spoilers. <laughs> That's Judy's complete. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. That's Judy's complete testimony. Not bad, huh? Not bad, huh, Mister Wright? I should focus on the new statements Miss Woods made. The existence of Bum Rap Riney should turn things around in our favor. It changes the meaning of a certain piece of evidence we already have. All I have to do is present it at the right statement. And folks. That's gonna I'll do, do that it. next time. Uh, for Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer again. Hey folks, we're just starting out dual destinies, but in case you didn't know, we've done an entire what six games now entirely. Six games now, baby. Uh, so My go, game. go, go watch those in case you haven't. And hey, in case you wanted an easy way to catch up on stuff, we've done a. a there's a a best of hits for our first game, and there's a best of hits of Justice for All as well. Uh, so go check those out. And until next time, stick around for art! Because court is adjourned. Bye, everyone! Alina Shemina with hello. This is the first time I posted art for stream, and I drew Apollo. He became edgy between games, apparently. I've only just discovered you guys a few weeks ago, and I've already loved your videos. Can't wait to see more. Yeah, I love this. This is very good. It makes him look yeah. uh, as good as possible, I think. And at least in Bridge's eyes. Mickey with Let's Go Duel Destinies. I absolutely love Phoenix and Trucy's bond, and I always imagine the way imagine ways Trucy make Phoenix feel even more like a even more of a boomer than he already was in the first games. He's confused, but he he's he adores his daughter, so he tries. Like Zach affectionately said, art is never finished, only abandoned. And I, and I abandoned this one like Zach derogatorily abandoned Jersey. Okay, but different Zachs. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> I just want to make sure. <laughs> Zach, like, Zach, you, all, you also abandoned your daughter, Zach? Like, uh, this is incredible, Mickey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Society with uh... Bobby Hillbright. 10 <laughs> out of 10. What a character. Booby oh, Fullbutt, Bobby Hillbright. <laughs> this is 10 out of 10. I don't know you. It's my purse. Incredible. <laughs> uh, I don't know you. Uh, Emma Sky with us spent five days a week working on this little fucker. Anyways, we now have a functioning Mr. Hat Puppet? No fucking way. Ooh. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Yo, that's incredible! The fact that you get it to like have a hinge on the mouth. Fuck yeah! Also, here's a photo I took of me making him. Was that was that the head of 24? <laughs> Not an eating Emma Sky hat. <laughs> she is the ultimate. Mr. Hat. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa, Gamma! With I made the beginnings of Juniper's scarf she knits during the trial. I designed the pattern oh, myself cute. and taught myself a new technique just for the purpose. I currently plan to keep it unfinished and then use it as a prop with a Juniper cosplay. That's so good. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Reaper with, so I got inspired from the character fashion stream you guys did and decided to do redesigns based on the critiques you guys made. This is incredible. I'm so excited to show Ty these. these. Athena, fix your jacket, makes the boots chalkier and taller. Change the tights color or make them more obviously sheer. Something about the tie? Girlie has a skort. I am not fixing the back. I respect that. Uh, hey, guess what? You improve the design. The boots being bigger and the tights being more an obvious sheer instead of like a weird like dark pattern. I like this a lot more. The clavier is more metalwork. Incredible. This is this is a better clavier, IMO. This is a better Godot, IMO. He's more goth, and I like that. And honestly, this Darien is way better. <laughs> I was about to be mad about the jacket, and I'm like, actually no, the jacket's incredible. The badge on the belt loop, the the shirt being open to like reveal a tank. This is really good. I like this. I like this Darien a lot. This is really good. What the fuck? You crushed it, Reaper. Uh, and hey, folks, check out the, the fashion design stream. Uh, Asa with hello. Welcome to the Weekly Sykes, where I provide you folks with the Scene Sykes Weekly and challenge myself to draw at least one Athena every Dual Destiny. Yo, these are really good. This fucking Lynn... Yeah, the, the ghost trick Athena is, is really, really good. good. I, I, again, I, I think I said this during the fashion thing. I know there are people who are like, I prefer. I, I think that uh, Athena is better Lynn. I think you're fucking crazy. I think Lynn's design is better. Yeah, I think. I but think I think combining them is really. I, I, think, I think Athena wins in the hair, whereas I think. Uh, Lin wins in everything else with the outfit. But this is really, really good. I love this. And then, yeah, uh, Athena in your style, Asa, is, is incredibly good. The eyes are immaculate. Like, so, so good. Waddle with uh, barely know anything about Dual Destinies, but Athena seems cool, so here's a drawing of her I did recently. Hopefully, this hype for the stream, even though it's like 1.30 a.m. my time. Yeah, I love this. And I love, like, the, the use of the the loose leaf paper lines to like add the, the lines in the side. Very, very cool. Little End Dragon with I did it. I finished this animation in two weeks. Hearing you guys talk about Mike Meekins and Mr. Hat being enemies, I wanted to animate a fight scene with them and this was the best I could do while trying to stay sane. Oh, they're like, oh yeah? This is so good. Oh my God. What? What? Yeah, this is amazing. Oh my God, it's Machi. Yo, this is incredible. Yeah. What the fuck? That's incredible. Holy shit, little end dragon. That's amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, Ratleg with my sweet boy. I just adore this Apollo fit. Listen, despite what Pridge says, he actually looks cool in this fit. So, hell yeah. Barry Fu with Dual, Dual Destinies Let's Go. This game is my absolute favorite from the main line with my favorite prosecutor after Barrack and also my favorite prosecutor de detective duo. There's lots of favorites in this game for me and I hope it'll be the same for you guys. The Twisted Samurai. Yeah. I, I'm very excited for, for Praise to see uh, the prosecutor and the uh, detective in this game because they're, they're, they're both something. Banana Lu Luisito with hi new on the server here love from Brazil to you all yeah this is super cute I love this Athena and uh, welcome to the server as well thank you so much for joining our Discord Asufa with oh my gosh new game new dumb bits only I care about yo give Athena pants I like the pants like this yeah, is like literally what we said in the fashion stream give Athena <laughs> pants it looks so good are you kidding me yeah. It looks so much better. It looks incredible! And... How'd it go with your dentist? Bad! <laughs> OMG, you look like shit! The fucking widget being like, you look like dog shit, bro. <laughs> 
That's incredible. Uh, Angela with Apollo is shorter than Athena is in canon. Glad to see you guys play Dual Destinies. This was attached to another piece of art, so don't mind the trucy cape. No, he's, listen, he is a short king. Or at least a short prince, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll give him that much. Yeah, <laughs> Very I don't good, know. Angela. Shitty whip. I feel bad I didn't post this in time for the end of the Apollo Justice streams. No, you're totally fine. I love this. Including the Apollo in a bunny outfit. I love the little meme edits on the, the not meme, but like glitch edits on this. And this this whole design is really, really good. Holy shit. Hell yeah, Shady Wee. Peaky with resending this in, because I had to fix something. First time drawing this girly, and I started panicking so hard I started singing. <laughs> I think this is all widget. Yeah, it's all widget's lines. <laughs> Saf with, I also just remembered, I wasn't here for the week of the finale, so past week comic, and since we finally met Athena, a real old thing that finally made numbers on Tumblr, these two are my most popular posts over there. No more lies, Polly. I know the truth about you. <laughs> <laughs> all of them being worried about different things, and then also <laughs> Charlie... With the fucking ants reference? Holy shit. <laughs> and then, yeah, this final fucking uh, drawing of Edgeworth holding back Phoenix, holding back all of the many children. <laughs> all of the many children he has taken on. <laughs> Incredible. This is really good. Panic Bang with also, I was told to post this. Since we don't know Phoenix's parents, the council slash chat decided he just came to be and his name was because of a box of that carriage company that appears in Greatest Attorney, Lamau. The Phoenix Wright Company. Also, Von Karma is a bully, but we already knew that. Oh my god! This drawing's incredible. Just kicking the box with Phoenix in it. <laughs> Ari with, uh, hope to have this art done for Dual Destinies Episode 1, but work has been crazy lately. Instead, here's some photos of my Athena cosplay from a few years back. I made everything but her badge, tie, and tights, right down to the sewing patterns. The wig took a walk whopping 30 hours to finish never again. This is incredible! Yeah, that's, a, that's an incredibly detailed wig. I mean, the wig alone, yeah, but also like true. widget, the whole outfit fits perfectly. This is like peak cosplay of this character. Yeah, that's very good. Holy shit, this is so good, Ari. Mid Manga with just some doodles for now. This month's gonna be packed for me, so it might be a while until I post more art, but I'll leave this with y'all. Uh, without real spoilers, <laughs> now it's his turn to be gay when he's sad. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Uh, and Athena, I drew a couple months ago. Ignore that she has an extra moon earring. I goofed it, Lamel. I literally, I would not have known. Uh, she yeah, had I forgot that she. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe she just wanted to wear more earrings. We only see her from way. one side for most of this case, so. <laughs> Yo, uh, man, man, go. These are these are really good. I I really appreciate like the shading done on this. Uh, it's very sick. Hell yeah. Marley with a uh, new time poster. I'm horribly art blocked, so I drew my Faye. Couldn't be less relevant to the streams, but I never drew Ace Attorney characters, and your streams are what put the games back in my stream of consciousness. Well, now. Oh, this is super cool. I love this this Maya. It looks great. It's really, really yeah. cool. I love the hair, especially. Hell yeah, Maya. Thank you for posting. 